So I want to do a quick demo to show you how you can use some of the basic 3D modeling tools to create a wall and then cut holes into the wall that would uh, be, could be used for doors and windows. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a polyline for my wall. Make it 5 inches and go across, let's go across 12 feet, come back down 5 and close it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create a polyline marking the location for my door and for my window. So again, I'm going to draw a polyline. I'll just start at the midpoint, come down and go across three feet, go back up and close it. So now I'm going to do a polyline for my window. And I'm just looking at all of this in plan view right now, just you know a top view. So I'll just say I'm going to come over a foot make my window three feet wide. Oops. Go back one there. Okay, there we go. Three feet. Go back up my five inches. Go back over my three feet and close. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a 3D view so I can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm extruding these objects. So I'm just going to take a corner view here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude my wall. So I'm going to come over to my modeling tab and select extrude, select my polyline, hit enter, and then I want to go up, we'll go up 10 feet. So now I have my wall. Now I want to do, uh, I want to create my voids for my window. So I'm going to extrude those as well. So I'm going to start with my door and I'm going to extrude that up 7 feet. And then my window, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to go up, let's say my window is three feet square, so I'm going to go up three feet. Now you can see my window is sitting down here at the, the base line and I really want it to have it up, so I'm going to move this extrusion and I'm going to move it up and I'm going to bring it up, let's see, I'm going to make it four feet so it's going to be even with the top of my door. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create uh, a subtraction using these uh, extrusions that I've created. So I'm going to come over here to my solid editing and I'm going to select subtract. And the first thing it's asking for is it's the solid that I'm going to subtract from. So that's going to be my wall. I'll select my wall. Now I'm going to hit enter so that it knows that I'm done selecting and then it's going to ask for the solids that I want to subtract. So this time I'm going to select the solid that represents my door and my window and then I can hit enter and now it's made the, that subtraction. So now we're looking at holes in the wall and let me switch my view just to hit in here just so you can see a little bit better. So you can see now I've created those walls um, for the doors and windows. So that's just some, some basic um, using the extrude and the subtract tool to create voids within a wall.